Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Eugene. I'm glad to be here to talking about evolutions from DevOps to LMOps from the perspective of a cloud provider. Uh, so before I start, let me quickly introduce our company, GMI Cloud. We are a GPU cloud focusing on GMI solutions and computation support. Um, we have worked with customers uh, regarding GMI applications uh, and helped them build their production pipelines. So our vision for AI in the next 12 months from a uh, enterprise or startup perspective is we think industry builders and innovators will come together to set the standards for filling growth. From a cloud provider's perspective, we believe the reliability of GPU infrastructure will have a huge improvement versus what we heard about uh, the training in Lama 3, for example. Um, and we also foresee a huge acceleration in the inference growth. All right, let's jump to the topic and start uh, with a sentence. The amateur study tactics, professionals talk about logistics. Um, so this is a quote from Henry Ford, who made the first streamline when building automobiles. It's just like a history of DevOps. So DevOps to software is like streamlined to the manufacturing line. Uh, it's like a standard scalable approach to software delivery. It was born out of necessity for companies operating at scales like Google, Netflix. Uh, it gives birth to several continuous integration and continuous delivery tools like uh, an optimized assembly line. So we heard some popular names like Docker, Kubernetes, Terraform, and it's been there for some time. The key goal of the DevOps is to improve the collaboration between developers and operational teams. So not too long ago, uh, maybe several years ago, we see this progression of MLOps, which is a standardized, adaptable approach to managing machine learning specific workflows. Uh, usually there are one or multiple models involved in the pipeline. And it's driven by the real-time adaptability in companies operating ML at scale. Uh, it also gives birth to some popular keywords like CT or CD, means uh, continuous training or continuous development. Uh, we see tools that still good in this domain is Kubeflow, MLflows, or TFX. Again, um, this is all about time to production and improve the collaboration between data science ML engineers and operational teams. All right, uh, but not too long ago, we've seen these keywords called LMOps, which is really new to uh, everyone um, over here. So LMOps means scaling and operationalizing large language models. It's basically an advanced scalable upgrade from a traditional MLOps for managing the unique challenges of deploying and maintaining large language models, but not only large language model, but basically all foundation model that requires a huge amount of compute or storage resource. Uh, we've seen some new keywords being invented, for example, continuous pre-train or fine tuning, which enables dynamic adaptation and improvement of LMs based on new data and new use cases. Uh, there are also new tools and old tools emerge in this new era like MLflow, Reserve, or DeepSpeed. All right, now let's dig deeper into what actually was provided by a MLOps workflow. Uh, what are the key benefits? So we see there are a couple benefits, like increased collaboration, like we just mentioned. We also see to improve scalability. Usually when you have a MLOps pipeline, um, it means your business is ready to fly and ready to be served to a lot of customer base. Also, it will improve your model reliability because you have this pipeline continuously monitoring and continuously um, correcting all the model drift. Um, and also, it means faster model development and deployment time. Basically, accelerates your time to value, uh, which is a key matrix in most business. But what are the key advancements in LM ops or in any foundation model uh, pipeline? Uh, it means scale the high resource demands across GPU clusters. We see hundreds or thousands of nodes being used in training and inferencing. Um, and also means monitoring support in the GI standard because we see safety and uh, 
safety and monitoring has been a very key issue.